Hello guys, welcome back to uh, Britain's Exit Brexit. No, let's not get into that. You know, they can stay on the gravy train, can't they? Yes, welcome back to Britain's coldest temperature since 2010. Okay, so today, while we're waiting for our uh, ignition coils to come, we're going to be fitting our auxiliary sockets. We're going to be fitting our sat nav, and we're probably going to be fitting the remainders of our windicators. So, um, let's get on with it. Yes, coil royalists. So, we've got this, uh, just trying to work out where to put it, could put it there, uh, don't want to put it there because it's hard to get to the key, could put it up there, could put it up there, could put it on there, because it uh, doesn't interfere with the steering, could put it somewhere on there, or oh, there's a nice slot in there to put it, but it's all nice in there, but once you've got your sat nav plugged in, it's going to interfere with the forks, so it's no good. I've been looking at attaching it to this uh, plastic casing down there be a perfect place really just means that you have to put your key in and take your seat off every time you want to plug something in unless you just run your wires through and leave them attached up here somewhere and whenever you want to plug your gizmos in You've got your wires diddly diddly diddly. So, uh, let me have a think about where I'm going to put it first. Okay, so we've had a bit of a change of plan where I said this is going to live. Said it was going to live down there. But uh, I think it'd be more easier if it just lived on there. So, Let's try it on there and see what we think. Yes, I think that's a better place. Be a better place down there, I can fit everything into it. Just run them back up to the handlebars and the sat nav. That's how cold it is. I think I might go indoors instead of doing this. And there we are fitted. I think that'll be alright there. Just like put the wires on loosely because uh, this is a permanent live and I would rather wire it into a switched live. Well the battery is obviously live all the time so if you just connect it to the battery this gizmo is going to stay live probably want to drain the battery if I leave some plugged in. It has got a switch underneath but uh, you know I think I'd rather put it into a switch live which is it only comes live when you turn the ignition on. A bit like some radios in cars don't work without the ignition key and I've uh, shut the door and put my fire on because it is pretty damn cold. Why I'm in this shed, I'll never know. So anyway, let's uh, plug these things in and see if they work. This will fit it, fit this one, but it's not the actual plug 
for this one. I think this one is on the uh, white CBR, the plug. But it does fit this one, so I'll try it on this one and see how it goes, wherever the plug socket is. Where are you, plug socket? Oh, it's in the back. Uh, I thought there was no plug socket then. Oh, I'm sure there was a plug socket. Am I going mad? How could you go mad when you're already mad? So, stick that there. Don't know if this is on or off. There's a light there, so that should tell me. That's no fucking good, is it? Don't even go in far enough. No, there's no green light coming on, is there, anyway? Or is there? No. I don't even know if there's a fuse in the bloody... What's it? I don't even know if my camera works anymore. Are you still working? Are you still with us? Fuck it out. What a palaver. Starting to realise why I haven't been in my shed for five weeks. Yeah, that's it. There's like catching just there on two prongs down there just bent them back a bit so now it fits in don't know whether that's off or on just try and hold the wires on a bit better let's come round to this side let's see if you turn green Definitely not turning green. Aha! We have life. Oh, and the sat navs come on. Vermin. I mean, Gurmin. Gormin. Go on then. Oh, you're taking a long time to come on. I know it's cold. Whee! There we are. We've got our power. Okay, oh, hell. Got a ghost in the background. So, uh, that did come off, but just just slide back on with that. It's not a brilliant idea, I know, but so that's that job done. Okay, so we've got a selection of two sat navs. Got the older one, and we've got the new one. But ironically enough, the new one has no bracket. To put it wherever you're going to put it, but it is smaller, which is a good thing. And the other problem is. It's got GPS so it shows you the road map of where you are but if you want to type any addresses into it it just doesn't seem to type you know you press the buttons on the screen and nothing works but it does show that the GPS like I said you know you can see it's got the road map of where you are This older one works perfectly fine. And it's got a sucker on it or a bracket that you could easily make another bracket off of. So I was thinking of just sticking it on the screen like so. Yeah, it looks all good. You can see the speedo. 
just about see the rev counter. We might even see the turn signals. You can't see any other warning lights there. If I could lift it up a bit more. Yes, if I duck my head a bit and whatnot, you can see all the controls. Nothing's it's going to affect it. It's just the. Uh, I suppose I could take the wire down the screen. Why it's all like this, I can get all the wires in. Take advantage of the naked bike. So I could put it there. Or I could sort of take that bit off and make some sort of bracket and stick it there. Which I probably think is a bit better. The trouble is, you've just got the uh, wire coming out the back it's attached to the bars which are moving all the time well, these wires seem to be okay just attached it to them and run it through diddly do uh, Try and get that off and try and make a bracket to stick it around there. It'll actually be really good there. I think if you just push that, you can just take that ohm. leave that attached. Just got to sort of cut that off, drill an hole in it, make a roundy bracket. Yes, I think I'm thinking of that looks good rather than up there. It's less work up there because all you have to do is stick it on like that in the hot weather, sorry about my finger, <laughs> in the hot weather these do have a tendency to fall off. If it falls down there and you don't want this like that, it gets stuck in your steering, couldn't it? If you're on the M1 doing 75, and you've got no steering, you've got to start panicking. So I think, yes, I'm going to go for that idea, get it on there somehow. But yes, I'm thinking about this piece of a PC tower. Try and make a bracket with this. If it's not strong enough, then at least I've got a template for a, something else. works. So that'll do. We have an old handlebar here so I can just wrap that around that. Hopefully. Stop twisting round. What's wrong with you? Can you see? Hopefully. So I think somehow I want to get that in the voice. Like so. That's better, isn't it? And hopefully 
That'll be a nice bracket. Don't want to be that way. Or maybe the other way. Let's have a look right there. Somehow from there. Take the rubber sucker off and drill it all through there. Drill it all through there. Cut it to size. Paint it black. Job done. Let's get on with it. I'm actually going to have to destroy it and saw it off. But uh, we never use this sat nav for anything else, so we as well use it on the bike, innit? Being as it works perfectly fine and it's up to date. So let's start sawing. I think we can get this off if we undo the wheel, I'm not sure. Come off. Yep. I thought I heard somebody come in the shed then. Nothing. So, save them there and try and saw it off on that join, I suppose. that done. Okay so I've just done a bit of lining up on the handlebars and realised the hole will be better off as close to this bend as I dare get it. So I'm going to have to move it up to about there to drill the hole again. Okay so we've drilled a new hole uh, also drilled a hole in this so that wants to go in line with that hole and this access wants cutting off push that in there push that through there should be able to work out where to cut it say about there Let's try and tidy it up a bit on our bench grinder. And this is that bit to just go on to there. Then hopefully, what's the other bit? losing all my bits. The other bit should just slot on there like so. But hopefully we've got to go. So let's go over there and try it. Okay so let's try and get this on. Washer on there. Put the nut up there. So what is that in front? Can you hear a bike in the distance? Yeah, that's not too bad. It's got to get in the middle.
Yes. That'll do for me. So that'll do for this week. We've got our sat nav all powered up. Didn't have time for the indicators. So I'll do them in the next video. Still waiting for the coils like I said. I have got some Wednesday videos planned. It's uh, not bike related, it's just guitar. So just keep your eyes peeled and uh, keep tuned in. I hope you enjoyed this video. There'll be another one of these videos next week on the XJ. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe down there on the little white box. And I'll uh, see you next week. See you in another light, brother. Oh, blind, blind, I can't see. Oh. I must have a weird shape head. Oh, any time I wear an hat, it always goes. No matter how tight you have it around your head, even a cap. Anyway, see you next week.